Um, I'm Craig and my son Dakota and today we're going to show you how to do a real quick one pot meal on the trail. So a lot of you guys like to do um, you know those instant in a bag meals where you just boil water and you pour it in the bag. Um, those are cool but not all the time do, we, do you really want to do that. And we're just going to show you how to like do something that's a little bit more tasty and it's real easy to do on the trail. So first off, we're going to do some mashed potatoes. And you see these in all the different grocery stores. They're, um, they're real cheap. They have a bunch of different flavors. These are just picked up down at Walmart. All you got to do is boil two cups of water, and, and those are good to go. So we're going to get the water going real quick. Uh, two cups. We're using the, the Coleman dual fuel stove, and we like that because it's versatile, and it can burn um, unleaded fuel. So we can pick that up as, as we go along and plus it's, you know, easy to use and they're only 50 bucks. We're using the Primus uh, pots and uh, we like those because they have a non-stick non finish on them and so cleanup becomes a lot more easy when you're out in the woods. key to the Primus pots is putting a layer of something in between the pots when you stack it in the motorcycle. They have these, um, uh, I guess, grooves that help heat distribution, but if you don't put something in between them, then those grooves can bounce together and maybe uh, crack your non-skid stick surface to make it, or rub you know, or rub against it. So. What we do is we just put pot holders in between each one and that, and that works. We got those from C. The trick with these uh, multi-fuel stoves is to, um, you got to get the pressure in them just right. Uh, with these, unlike the canister stoves, they're not pre-pressurized. So you get your fuel, you pour it in, and then you have to uh, pressurize it. And I already pre-pumped it, now I'm just going to prime it a bit more. Fuel needs to be uh, ionized, I guess is the term. So the coat will get that um, get that water brewing to get the mashed potatoes going. Now why uh, why we're doing that? We're going to go ahead and cut up a couple veggies. Now there's no recipe for what we're using. We're just picking up vegetables that we uh, picked up at the store. And you get these along fruit stands or whatever stores you run by on the trail. And we're going to use um, Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. And, and uh, in this example, we're going to use the Spanish style, but it comes in a bunch of different varieties. And the key to this, I don't know if you can see in there, it's already pre-cooked. So all you got to do is heat it up in the pan and add a couple um, uh, tablespoons of water, and that's it. Another brand that's on the market is um, the Seeds of Change. And my wife picked this up down at Costco. It's got quinoa and brown rice with garlic. And it's also pre-cooked. So you want to look for these type of meals, Walmart or, um, or down at Costco. And they probably have them in other places. I think I saw them also in, uh, in uh, Vaughn's. This also comes in bags that you can use, um, but <laughs> we'll edit that out. <laughs> this also comes in bags, uh, but uh, today when I went to uh, stop by Walmart, uh, they didn't have any bags, so we're going to use uh, the cans, which work just as well. When you're uh, picking up cans for your weekend motorcycle camping trip, one of the things I always look for is pop top just to make it easier because you know it sucks getting out on the bike and then you realize you forgot your your can opener and you don't want to forget your can opener so that just makes it easy and in the um, in the uh, Mexican section or uh, Spanish section whatever you, how you, whatever you want to call it um, at Walmart we got these um, 
uh, salsa in a can, and it's also got the pop top, so we're just going to add some salsa to our dish to make it a little bit more tasty. And um, olives, you know, they've got um, the black olives and the green olives, and we've used both of those on the trail, and for a Spanish style dish, we're going to go with the black olives, but for the quinoa dishes, um, we really like um, the, uh, the green olives. So on the trail, when we set up camp, one of our routines is we set up the, the tent together, and then after we set up the tent together, then we start working on our meals, and Dakota, he uh, does the the prep work and cuts up the veggies to put in the dish. I'm going to put the lid on there so it boils a bit quicker. It takes about um, about five minutes to get the, the water going with the stove. We can turn it up and uh, get it going soon. One of the key things if you're going to use one of these stoves is um, to release the pressure before you store it back in the motorcycle. Um, unlike the other uh, canister stoves like I mentioned before, like uh, the Jet Fuel and the, and the other Primus stoves, this one you actually have to um, pump up and get your pressure just right. Um, a nice safety feature though is to be able to release that pressure when you're on the motorcycle. So, after you're done and the stove completely cools down so it's cool to touch, uh, slowly open up that cap. And what that'll do is just slowly release the pressure. So when you store it, there we go. Can you turn it down? So when you store it um, on the motorcycle when you're riding, you don't have a pressurized uh, fuel. So um, Code has pointed out that we're, we're boiling with the water. So we're going to go ahead. And pour mashed potatoes in there and turn that down. Use one of these pot holders with our uh, handle here. Get something ready to uh, stir it up. Here's some All you gotta do with these mashed potatoes. real good mashed potato consistency. I'll go ahead and uh, put the lid on and then just kind of move this out of the way. It'll be ready once uh, the other dish is ready. So Dakota's almost done with the prep work. Um, just working on the olives. With the bag of olives, one thing that we can like to do is after we open up the bag, is just pour a little bit of the juice in with our vegetables. So when we we start cooking it, it's nice and uh, nice and uh, olivey, flavorful, moist, Fla flavorful. <laughs>
just dispose of this in the, in the outhouse. I don't want to pour it on the ground to attract you know, bugs and flies to the, to the picnic area. We like to bring a couple extra or a few extra um, Ziploc bags. So if there's, um, we can store the the, veg, the veggies that we didn't use in the Ziploc bags. And we can use them for the next day. Veggies will last a little longer than you think on a motorcycle, especially if you have it in a, in like lunch pail, like one of those insulated lunch. Salsa, you could also put it in a Ziploc bag and then put it in that same uh, container. There's a hole in the side of it instead of right here. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to get this thing going again. And then we'll start with a one pot dish. So there's no recipes really for one pot dishes. I mean, you can look at recipes online to give you an idea, but that's not really the point. The point is to find stuff on your road trip, stuff at stores, um, in those little uh, roadside vegetable stands. I mean, anything goes. And in this case, we had a Spanish style, style rice, and so we wanted uh, some stuff to go with that. But anything could go. You could use summer squash, um, whatever you find along the road. And that's all part of the fun. Stopping at these little country stores and seeing what's on offer and picking it up and adding it to your dish. So, what you want to take on your trip, depends on how long your trip are, or um, have your base ingredients. Like uh, like these, um, some, uh, some canned chicken uh, to start out with the onion and bell pepper and, and uh, some jalapenos or whatever peppers you want. And, um, explore what's available as you stop at these little towns on your trip. Oil? Should we, should we have to put yep. oil in first? So Dakota brings up a good point. We're going to go ahead and use some of our, our cooking oil. is the fact that it's just so easy and tasty. You don't have to be a good cook. Turn that, turn that up. Add some, uh, this is Das. This one's tomato, basil, and garlic, but you'll find a bunch of these at the store. Just pick, pick one or two out. They, they don't really weigh anything. Just add some flavor. Dakota's going to continue to snack on the olives. This idea is we get all of this kind of seared going. Um, and then once we think it's ready, once our onions start to um, uh, turn clear or translucent, then we'll go ahead and add the Spanish style rice. <laughs> We're just about ready. Our dish is looking pretty tasty. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells great. And then we're going to go ahead and put our rice into this. Thank you. 
chunks of it and mix it all up to those flavors all mixed together. And then we'll go ahead and add a little bit more water to that. About two tablespoons, but we're in the field and we're not going to sweat the details, so we're just going to go ahead and pour a little bit of the water. This isn't uh, the kitchen with uh, all your measurements. It's all about quick, simple, and good. Take a peek at our mashed potatoes. <clears throat> you can see oop, condensation. They look good, and trust me, they're still they're still warm. So what what me and Dakota do when we're on the trail on the motorcycle is instead of stirring another dish or dishes. Dishes. That way we're not we're not dirtying up extra dishes we gotta take care of. <laughs> 